Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And it is Division 4 of the Battleship League. And it is Congo versus... Uh, I was going to say Sean Holster. That is very wrong. Uh, against Strasbourg. Um, and because I haven't used Congo on this boot of the game, I have to pick up all the bits and drop them back exactly where they are. Or as best I can. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, Strasbourg is absolutely fine. Perfect. Right. Let's go. And... Congo's going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's get it turned around. And, yeah, let's see how she does. There we go. There's Strasbourg. Neither of them in range of each other. Congo opening up first. Range is still extreme, so could you continue to try and close? Congo does have a very, very slight speed advantage, but it, it is not much. angle just yet. Starting to move away a little bit. Accuracy is still not great from the Congo, 4.3. And Stripers start to move away. Oh, I wish there was a setting for the AI to be just like, come on, come in and get me, but there isn't, so I have to do that. When uh, I I'm playing a Strasbourg, that's uh, yeah, not a lot going on. <laughs> so uh, I'm afraid this might well be the cut. So I'll cut away, and I might come back once uh, we actually get some action from either of them. The range is a little bit closer though than uh, it has been previously. 12.7 kilometers. But that basically looks like Strasbourg identified the enemy ship as Congo. Uh, Congo has a higher cost than Strasbourg so I suspect the AI decided to uh, beat a retreat but I will be back if there's actually any uh, any serious action between the two of them um, and uh, for round two uh, this looks interesting Strasbourg is turning rather aggressively um, I'm gonna do what I normally do and continue to try and close the gap a little bit Congo still not a uh, oh well, only just gone past 10% accuracy because um, I want to see if Strasbourg really is coming in and it looks like she is, so Congo here might actually 
be in for a fight. Shook his winter again. Yeah, just turning that way. Right, let's get all our guns firing. Unless Strasbourg is then going to move away again. That's a good hit. Like she's moving away again. I think it might slow down a bit. Hang on. Come on, Strasbourg. Come on. Get in there. Give us a proper fight. Congo loses the main tower, which is yeah, going to cause issues in the accuracy department. range really not much going on um, Strasbourg basically smacking the main tower over and over again secondary tower gone as well Trying to smash each other's upper works, I think. But at speed's very similar. Uh, 59 structure against 70. So Congo coming off slightly worse. I'm just trying to go. You actually turn into fight. Come on. Let's do this. Guns firing. Looks like to me. Good hit. Don't, I don't think you... Oh, that was good damage, though. That's all Congo's uh, engines out. And she is just not able to get some equally nasty damage. Strasbourg has lost two of her engines. But Congo, a lot of flooding. Like, a lot of flooding. She can't really fight it, either. So she's in a bit of a tight spot. Although, look at that. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Strasbourg still okay. About to fire back. One way to do it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Congo's taken 
critical damage though. This section here is not, not red, uh, so this can be pumped. And these three at the uh, after the ship are okay. She's struggling though. Gonna get another salvo in. Doing good damage, but yeah. That flooding, that is critical. Down she goes. Well, uh, victory in round one goes to Strasbourg. Uh, Congo really uh, not not been doing particularly well, has she? Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, let us swap to the French. And Strasbourg here looking to pick up a uh, possibly a three pointer actually she can take out Congo in this round she might be able to get three points which would be a pretty big scalp um, but uh, Congo needs to pull it back <laughs> um, at least to a draw so she'll probably run away, but she's not at the moment. That extra cost might give the AI the idea that it should come in. We shall see. Just gonna steam steam in as best we can. Congo's still coming in pretty on a pretty good angle. She can't fire this turret, but um, she's definitely closing. We are at 17 and a half kilometers and it's coming down quite fast. Ooh, my word. Killed the captain on the first hit. Oh my word. Captain of the Congo or the Harriner. Um, in particular, not, um, <laughs> not a particularly good uh, career move. <laughs> it would seem. That, that round just short. More damage to the main tower. Maybe thinking again. Let's take a flooding hit. No, she looks like she's still closing in. Trying to get her broadside going, I think. Yeah, she's turning away a little bit. Trying to extend the range. Vital yet. But she's. Oh, there we go. Now we're going through the main belt there. So that's not a good sign. Congo. Look at that accuracy difference. 15 against 30 odd. <laughs> um, changes all the time, of course. Oh, my word. Main tower destroyed. That's going to make it even worse. Uh, Congo has really suffered with accuracy throughout the whole uh, the whole encounter. Uh, as in, all, all her encounters, I should say. Looks like she's turning to run. Now, she does have a bit of a speed advantage, but she has taken a little bit of damage. 
Yeah, she's still got about a knot worth of speed over Strasbourg. Who really needed to get a uh, hit on the engines or something. But Congo turning back. Oh, this could be interesting. Flooding hit. Flooding that did the Congo in last time. Take out an engine and flooding, so she's going to find it very hard to get away now. Main tower flooding. More hits to the tower, just endless hits to the main tower. And took out a secondary gun. Uh, she looks like she's turning away again. And she's taken that engine damage. She's going to find it very difficult to get away. Speed now less than Strasbourg. Still does have an engine though. Twenty six seven twenty six three twenty six even. Yeah, she's uh, probably probably stuck it around her top speed is currently probably gonna be ten knots, something like that. But uh, it'll take her a while to slow down to that. Meanwhile, damage going in from Strasbourg. Feel like she's hungry for this. She's taking the odd hit in return, but uh, nothing major. Secondary battery fire being exchanged as well, but that hasn't really done anything in any of the uh, uh, matchups so far, which is kind of what you expect. They're not really there to fire on other capital ships. And yes, if you are screaming, you should switch to HE. Yes, I should. Um, however, that is not the rules of the matchup. Uh, if the AI decides to do it by itself, that's fine. Um, but I'm not allowed to do it manually. Just because I think that would uh, give a serious advantage. Uh, you know, I'm trying to keep this as uh, fair as possible. And the AI is actually doing most of the fighting. Smacking that casement armor. 100% chance to hit. Strasbourg really trying to get the kill in. Which she probably will when she draws level. The angle not being very good. Turret, though. Main gun, that would be much better. Keeps hitting the uh, casements. Maybe the next salvo is going to be an important one. This is very dangerous for uh, Strasbourg as well. Congo though, starting to get that flooding. Yeah, she's able to hit Strasbourg back. Oh, and ricochets again. A lot of ricochets. <laughs> Which is 
been the case with nearly all the battles. Come on. You're going to get too far ahead in a minute. Yeah, lots of damage going in. And that's a lot of flooding. Oh, ammo bit in the secondaries. And enormous damage on Congo. Uh, in return, I think she is done for. No engines left. Flooding everywhere. But uh, Strasbourg, I need to be sensible here. Probably best off coming about. Both ships have no engines left. Strasbourg has had a battle like this before, but she can turn very, very quickly. And another flooding hit. Just need that B to actually work. Lovely stuff. She won't sink. We'll make sure she sinks. <laughs> Second time we've ended up trying to ram with um, Strasbourg. She wants those three points. I think Congo's done for though. Undamaged side and hit that instead. But Congo, come on, that flooding's got to be critical. She looks dead in the water to me. One turret still going to move around. Flooding. Oh no! Pop the turret. There we go. Strasbourg takes it. Strasbourg takes it. Uh, with two victories in two rounds. So that is three points. Well, that is a turn up for the books. Um, no, we'll not be playing again. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. No need for a round three. Um, and I'll see you again next time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.